Or have you ever wondered what happens on Redstone Arsenal? The answers to your questions are right in front of you. They can be found in the Redstone Rocket. For 82 years, Redstone has been a driving force of innovation and economic growth. Redstone Arsenal is still the community's largest employer. Despite the large volume of people who access the post every day, there's still a lot of questions as to what's there and what happens. That's where the Redstone Rocket comes in. We give people a look behind the gates. It's a weekly newspaper on all things Redstone Arsenal. And every week we, we strive to entertain and inform. They've done that for the last seven decades. And before that, during the World War II era, there were two separate newspapers, the Sundial, later renamed the Patriot, and the Redstone Eagle. We're going to have a lot more soldiers in that period of time. So uh, they're going to do all kinds of community, and also to associate people with their community, and not just on post, but outside the gate as well. For historian Kayleen Hughes, these old papers really help paint the full picture of Redstone from the early days to present times. A walk through history, if you will. That information is really essential to capturing the history and just the flavor of what uh, Redstone Arsenal, Huntsville, and the Army was like in a given period of time. In February of 1952, the Redstone rocket hit newsstands and has evolved with the times. I've seen a change through the years. I mean, in 1980, it was not this many organizations. We didn't have this many people. We had more soldiers, but we didn't have this many people. And so the, the organizations, the population has changed. Editor Skip Vaughn has seen most of those changes firsthand, as he's been with the Rocket for nearly 43 years. We're an award-winning newspaper, and there, out of the entire Army, there's uh, more than 70 Army installations. There are fewer than 10 print newspapers, and we're one of those. Flipping through the pages, you'll see contributions from different organizations on post, a sports column, messages from leadership, all with the goal of strengthening opportunities and building community connections. It's not just the Army. We have NASA. We have the FBI. We have many more federal um, organizations that are here, contractors. We tell what they're doing. We tell what their people are doing. We tell who those people are, where they're from, um, their background, their hobbies, and so forth. Preserving history in 48 pages. Coming up at 4.30, we'll take a closer look at Skip Vaughn's time with the Redstone Rocket and how, as he describes himself, just a newspaper guy, landed a front row seat to our community's rich history.